Hello everyone, my name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified, a ministry that is dedicated to encouraging others to experience the sovereign love of the one true God who has qualified us to be his beloved ones. I am the author of the 30 day poetry devotional called Outpourings of a Beloved Heart and I am also the author of the young adults contemporary Christian romance novel called The One Who Knows Me. Both of them are actually available now you can get them so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about the characters of the second novel in this series so this is part of the sovereign love series this is book one the one who knows me book two is called the one who loves me it's going to be coming out may 21st 2022 and today i'm going to be telling you guys all about the main characters of the one who loves me so stay tuned if you'd like to find out so yeah, this is uh, book one in the series. Uh, this is, is about Tiana and Jaden. It's a dual POV novel and book two follows one of the characters, Amara, appears in book one. She is uh, Tiana's best friend and book two follows her story and then we introduce a second main character in book two called Raymond. So we didn't meet Raymond at all in book one, um, but we meet Raymond in book two. So today I'll tell you guys a little bit about Amara and Raymond. So let's go into it actually, just cause I think it'll be really cute. I'm just bringing up like the character profile photos things which I shared um, which I'm going to share on social media about them so I'm going to post I'm going to show you guys the one for Amara there you go her full name is Amara Chuku Iforma Ikezie those are her full names and um, I just need to look up like what they mean actually just give me one moment in the book um, I am including a sort of name pronunciation guide thing at the end of the at the beginning of the book to help you guys pronounce the names of the characters. A lot of the characters in this book are Nigerian, so a lot of them have Nigerian names, and so I'd like you guys to actually pronounce them properly when you're reading it. So at the very start of the book, there's a name pronunciation guide. So I put that back on there. So Amara Chuku it's an Igbo name so Igbo is a tribe in Nigeria you have Igbos and you have Yorubas Amara is Igbo and Raymond is Yoruba so Amara's names are Igbo and Raymond's names are Yor the Yoruba tribe so Amara Chuku means uh, is an Igbo name for girls which means God's grace I actually did not know that when I was picking this name for her really because my name is Joan uh, Joan Joanna means God is gracious um, and Amara Chuku means God's grace. And yeah, I just thought, hmm, that's a very, you know, nice coincidence. Anyway, Iforma is her next name, um, her middle name. Iforma is an Igbo name for girls, which means a good, beautiful, fine thing. So a good thing, a beautiful thing, a fine thing. That's what Iforma means. And her surname is Ikezie. Ikezie is an Igbo name, which means to apportion something or to apportion something fairly or to create something or someone perfectly so to apportion something fairly that's what ikezie means so that's amara for you now who is she she's 22 years old she works in um neonatal icu so she works she's a nurse she works with babies so she works in the NICU or neonatal intensive care unit so if you guys have read the one who knows me you would know that um, she went to uh, Spelman University because she mentions that here and there's a scene here where it's no spoiler anyway there's a scene here just before they go off to college where Tiana speaks to Amara about how she's going to do great she's going to become the best neonatal uh, ICU nurse ever that's because Amara where she wants to work in a NICU because NICUs look after babies amara used to be a preemie like a premature baby when she was in nigeria so when her mom um when her mom d gave birth to her they were in nigeria and she was a premature baby and her mom always tells her about how the nurses were so nice to her when she was back in nigeria they looked after her and so when she grew up and she went into she decided to go into nursing she just wanted to go back and also do the same thing that the nurses at that time did to her so she wanted to be a nurse and also look after the children in the NICU or the, the newborns in the NICU. So that's her for you. 
she's an afro hair enthusiast so she's got a curly fro which she calls frolita like that's the name of her fro she calls her hair frolita and if you've read book one again you would know this so in scene there's a scene here where she's helping tiana wash her hair and um amara has natural hair um so it's not chemically straightened it's all her curls and she's helped coaching tiana um, on how to take over her hair and stuff like that. So she really loves like Afro hair and all of that stuff. She loves fashion as well. She's into fashion, dresses nice, looks good, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and she loves caring for children, you know. She loves learning as well. She has a bubbly and funny personality, but she's also very shy. She can be naive and she struggles with a lot of insecurities, insecurities that we didn't see when we um obviously read book one because book one wasn't about her it was about tiana and Jaden. so she has a lot of insecurities that she's struggling with and you will see a lot of these insecurities when you read book two like what kind of things she's struggling with she has never been in a relationship and um she gets to a point in her life where she's like wow okay i've finished university i've graduated i'm now working next thing i'll be thinking about you know is you know you know getting into a relationship you know to look into us marriage and stuff like that um but before she's kind of naive and when she's thrown into the deep end she gets all flustered you know by the kind of experiences that she has i'm not going to spoil anything about the plots basically <laughs> but you can sort of like get the plot from the blurb which i'm going to leave down below she gets a bit flustered um by the attention that she's getting especially from raymond who i'm going to talk about next and also another guy which you're going to talk about because the plot suggests a love triangle there's somewhat of a love triangle here she is a bit flustered from all this attention she's getting and she makes some not so good decisions um because of just how naive she is and how she approaches the situation and she comes from a place a little bit of immaturity compared to where Jaden is and you would see her thought you would go through her thought process and just how she thinks about things and you would just get to know her how she grows what God teaches her about that and eventually where she gets to at the end of the book how she changes and how she transforms and how her relationship with God is strengthened um yeah so that's basically her in a nutshell like I loved writing her so much she's all bubbly and she i just love her character if you loved her in book one i really really do hope that you'll love her too in book two and i can't wait to guys read about her that's amara for you now let's go on to raymond now raymond obviously is an english name i think but it's not an uh, it's not unlike amara who all of her names are Igbo. raymond is a, i think is an english name i'm not sure um but his full names are raymond olua bemiga aderinto Aderinto, so Raymond Olua Bemiga Aderinto. So uh, Olua Bemiga means, uh, it's a Yoruba name which means the Lord lifts me up. I just, ah, I just love that. The Lord lifts me up. And Aderinto means, it's a Yoruba name which means the crown walks well. The crown walks well. So that's what his names mean. Ah, Raymond. I'm going to put his, um, <laughs> I'm gonna put the photo there for him. So he's 29 years old. He is a doctor working in the same hospital where Amara is working in, but he works in the pediatric cardiology unit. So he has finished his residency years or in America or in the US. When you graduate from med school, you do uh, your residency years and then you then be, do go into a fellowship for the speciality that you're going into so he has finished his residency years and now he's going into his pediatric cardiology um fellowship he the book starts off when he's in i think he's just finished his first year of his pediatric cardiology residency um sorry fellowship he loves teaching children he leads like the youth group at his church and he's teaching them how to do different things like how to cook how to um dance and just loads of other things he's so fun he's a very good cook um he's a very good dancer he loves hard and he trusts people easily which then means that he's had his he's had his heart broken a lot in the past because of the way he just easily trusts people the blurb says that he you know 
after his fourth girlfriend sort of dumps him and we see that at the beginning of the book so it's not a spoiler it's in the blurb um and so he struggles a lot with rejection but even with that he's still open to like trusting people even though they've burned him so much but then we see with when he meets amara and obviously there is a connection because it's a romance novel <laughs> and he likes her and their relationships are developing you start to see a lot of issues that he's dealing with particularly with his past experiences and how he sort of how he sort of tries to change that by seeking god first putting god first going to god asking for god's direction um and also getting advice from mentors and following god's leading and taking the right decisions and also that so um and again it's not just about their love story it's about their own internal conflicts their own inner conflicts as well raymond is starting up the youth ministry at his church and so he's trying to he's trying to deal with that and dealing with the responsibilities with of that so he gets to he's um mentoring like teenagers you know 14 to 16 years old at his church and he's just trying to get to know them and impart their lives and teach them about the word of god but also about life skills really um and we see how he sort of struggles with that um and the, the difficulties and challenges that comes with you know that you know ministry and, and dealing with that and also balancing that with his love life and, and social life and things like that raymond was such a joy to write um there are a lot of there are a lot of little bits from the story that are sort of inspired by my own journey my own personal life but they're not me so this book is not about me it's not about me it's not about my relationship it's not about anyone in my life but the certain situations that were inspired by some things that i have been through or i have gone through so i can't wait for you guys to get to know them i can't wait for you guys to get to know raymond to get to know amara and just to fall in love with them because i love them i love amara i love raymond i think they're they're great characters raymond especially has my heart <laughs> I don't know, I always tend to love the male characters more than the female characters, but I think in this book I love both of them. Um, and I just can't wait for you guys to meet them on the 22nd of, of uh, or 21st of April of May, and even earlier if you're going to be part of the book launch team. That being said, if you would like to help me reveal the cover of The One Who Loves Me, if you would like to get an early e-copy of the book, like an advanced reader copy to read and in exchange for an honest review, if you want to, I mean, obviously you don't, you're not obliged to, but if you will be kind enough to leave a review, that would be great. If you want to get a free copy um, of the book as well, and just help me spread the word and spread the news on social media, on your blogs and things like that, then please, 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 please sign up to join the book launch team. The link is down below. If you haven't added the book on Goodreads, go and add the book on Goodreads. If you're not, if you don't know what it's about, the blurb is down below you can read the full blurb there um yeah before i go i just want to tell you guys that the one who knows me is on sale the ebook is on sale it is on on uh, all digital platforms not just amazon all digital platforms you can get the ebook for um 1.99 and the sale ends on the on the 4th of march so from now to 4th of march you can get the ebook for 1.99 199 pound, uh, pounds or 199 dollars so it doesn't matter wherever you are all digital platforms that's the price um if you're my nigerian readers this book is available on okada books it's also available on bam books as well so you can read on there on those platforms um and if you're in the uk and you'd like a signed copy go on my website the link is down below um you can order a signed copy uh, it comes with a bookmark a sticker and i'm going to sign it for you and ship it to you so yeah there you go thank you guys so much for watching um check out my poetry devotional as well our pourings of a beloved heart if you're looking for a poetry devotional to help you encourage you um towards a god sovereign love for you check out my books down below thank you guys so much for watching have a lovely day and god bless you Mwah. bye